Tonight at 6, a family has closure after they learned their loved one's remains were discovered at the former home of a suspected serial killer. Our John Duran tells us the man is the first to be positively identified in this case since the 1990s. Inside the Hamilton County Coroner's Office hangs a reminder. Every day when I walk into my office, and I walk past it. We got a lot of work to do and we're not going to forget you. A year ago, Jeff Jellison reopened an investigation, identifying victim remains of suspected serial killer Herb Baumeister, found on his former property, Fox Hollow Farm. All of a sudden, state police got a match, and they're emailing these reports. A break came this week, identifying Alan Livingston, who'd been missing for 30 years. I know he's there. I know he's there. I know that man got him. I just know it. I feel it. We spoke to Alan's mother, Sharon, in December. She submitted the DNA sample that led to the match after a push from her nephew, Eric Pranger, a former employee with the Marion County Coroner's Office. Last year, I started doing more shore air transport services, and um, I just kept thinking about Alan a lot on, on several runs and um, decided to do something about it. Eric called me a year, almost a year and a half ago and said, hey, our family would like to have some help. It is because of that phone call we were able to get the ball rolling that identified his cousin and will identify many people in the future, I'm sure. Now Pranger and his family's long lasting question has been answered. I am happy and sad at the same time. Happy because Sharon got some closure and I'm sad because we got confirmation that it's Alan. Jellison says he's proud of what he and his team have accomplished over the past year, but knows there's more work to be done putting a name to the 10,000 unidentified human remains that were found here. Just because we got one, yeah, we're thankful and we celebrated. We got to continue to put our nose back to that guy so get back to work and start identifying more people. In Westfield, John Duran, 13 News.